welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share something today that I found and has been a game changer for me. So as so is, we are always looking for ways to make our lives easier, especially when it comes to our fabric stash. And I know I'm not the only one. I'm always looking for ways to know what fabric I have out there because I have a lot of fabric. So um, I don't remember how I came across this. I think maybe I was on Instagram or YouTube or something, but I found a new app and it's called Stash Hub. Now, before, if you have followed me for some time, I actually used, um, I think it was ISO. It was an app and I did a review on it and it was a great app for what it was for the time that I used it. But I've come across this. I actually want to go back because I want to go to the home so you can see exactly how to get there. Um, this app is life changing. I have it on my phone. So I have everything that I can see on this web browser. I also can see on my phone. I haven't downloaded the app to my computer yet because I am starting to get a lot of um, storage used up. So I'm trying to minimize the amount of storage on my computer, but there is a web version of it that has everything just like it would on the app version. So you can use this on, you can download it from the Apple store, you can get it on Google Play, and then it has the web version. So I'm going to show you the web version of it today, and it is making my life a lot easier, okay? So you go into it, and I'm already logged in. As you can see, I'm already a member. We'll start with settings first. So um, it tells you what kind of format that you can set it up, your preferences, your currency, um, length units it has all that in there because this will be important for when you put your fabric information in there so you can select that here or when I show you you also can select it when you put into your fabric in um, it you know what subscription you have um, now I have the plus version I don't I'm gonna be honest I don't remember like what you can use it as if you don't pay for it, but I just wanted to pay for it just to make sure um, I have everything there. So I'm gonna give you a look around and then we'll go in here and look at some of the things you can do, how you can navigate, getting started and things like that. So let's go back and look at my page. So I'm going to go to fabrics and the reason why I like this is easier to navigate than some of the apps I've used in the past. And I can see everything up front, like everything is clear. It is phenomenal. Okay, let me get into it. So let's pick this fabric right here. So I went in, I put the pictures in for this fabric. You put the name of the fabric. You and put it there, um, a description of the fabric. Now for this particular fabric, I didn't have a description. So when I put in the picture, it went in and pulled this description for me. And I'll give you an example um, for some fabric that I have bought recently that I need to upload. It tells you, let me go back up. Okay. So it tells you the length that you have purchased, the remaining amount. So there is some fabric that I had bought, I used for a project, and I had about two yards or even a yard and a half left. And I can put that information there, the width, the weight. Um, for this particular fabric, I don't have the weight of it, but I know like fabric that I've bought from Mood um, or even melanated fabrics when they were open, they had the weight on there and I can go ahead and put that information there. Fabric type. As you can see, there definitely are different fabric types here. And some I have inputted, some is inputted from the system. 
um, the fabric composition, the fabric category. So if it's a woven or a knit, if it's a stretch woven, um, or if it's a other um, stretch crosswise, stretch lengthwise, the price of it. This is not the price per yard. Um, I actually need to change this. I think it was because that's how much I paid in total. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say $6 per yard. You can put in the date that you purchased it. So you can either set it as of today and you just click this, or you can, if you know what date you purchased the fabric, you can put it in there, what shop you got it from, um, the thread match to it. It's very detailed and I love it. The colors. So, um, you could go in and you can add the colors and I'll show you some of these colors I placed in there. Some of, um, I think for this particular one, it actually got placed with the length. Um, what the design is, you can add tags to it if you already pre-washed it. Where the location is, depending on, um, there are some places where I have put, it's in this bag two or bag three or bag one or, um, bookshelf one, bookshelf two. The link is very important and I'll come back to why I just love this link that they have here, but you can also link it to where you got it from. So you can open the link and for this particular one, it takes you right to it. All right. And I think that's just, I love it. So you can go through and see where you got it from, how much it was. That's why I I don't know why I pulled that amount before I need to clarify that, but, um, it takes you to the link of where you bought it for, if it's still around. And then you put notes in there. You can put if it was gifted and then you also can link projects to it. And I'll come back to that. So I, I love it because you can do it as used, um, or, um, unused or used. So if it's a scrapped, if you use it, if you've, um, destashed it if you haven't purchased it yet so if you have something that is on your wish list and you can do it that way you also can do by name um this is how you can go through and you can sort how it's going to come up you also can of course filter um and then you can search so i want to see if i can find as you guys, I have a lot of fabric, so please don't judge me. Um, but I'm looking for, and I don't know the name of it by heart. Okay, so this is a fabric that I am actually using for an upcoming project. So I have, there's four different pictures. So... If you click on your pictures, you can go through the pictures of what the fabric looks like. And as you can see, I got this fabric from Mood. And I like to, if I, the more pictures I can get of the fabric, the more I can be able to see without um, actually going to touch the fabric to get, you know, what it looks like, what the drape is going to look like, the, the pattern, that kind of thing. So... I have that here. You're allowed four pictures. So again, the name, the description, the purchase length, the remaining length, the weight, as you can see, is there. Um, it gives you the fabric composition type of fabric. So this is a stretch cotton. What I want to get to, I purchased this fabric May 16th of this year and I purchased it from Mood Fabric. Now it doesn't say what thread match because I haven't decided on that yet but if you keep going down I don't think this is is this supposed to be a red I always want to say blood orange but I'm going to actually because it's definitely more of an orange than it is a red so I'm going to go and change that and add that in there um, the different design. I have not pre-washed it yet, but I wanted to take you down to the link projects. So 
another reason why I love, 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 love this app is because I can go to link projects, right? And I can click. When I click it, it has my projects here. So as you can see, it's also a choice you have on the side, but it's already linked to this particular fabric. So it tells me the project project title. It tells me the fabric that I'm going to use and gives me a short, you know, description. I always can add fabric to it if I need to. Um, it tells me the pattern. So this is the pattern that I want to use for this particular project. This is actually my next project up that I'm hoping to get cut either tonight or tomorrow. You can add the person. So I went in and put in my measurements. So these are my measurements that I already have there. I'm going to go in and I'm going to add notions. I'm also going to add the challenge and I'm going to come back to this one on why I'm going to add a challenge. But if there's a challenge located on um, Stash Hub, you can add the challenge things that I need. So currently these are the notions that I need that I don't have that I have to um, have for a shopping list. So that is already there. Different notes. So if I have notes that I need to change the bodice. I need to do a full bodice adjustment. I need to lengthen. I need to shorten. I need to add pockets, whatever it is. I can put those notes there. High priority. So this is something that I wanted to do next. Um, I'm going to actually switch it to next up. What season is going to be in. So right now we're in summer. When I started my deadline for it, um, that obviously is going to change. And then where I'm at on the project so I've already done my um, preparation for my pattern so now I need to do a mock-up so I'm actually going to add mock-up and pattern adjustments just because I want to Make sure I record it, record those pattern adjustments. So when I get through, I'm going to do, because I'm going to do a mock-up first. And I can go and check this off my list, check that pattern um, adjustments off my list, and then cutting out my pattern sewing, photographing it, and sharing it. And it I can go through, put the date of completion. I can, of course, add tags. I can do work in progress so I can take pictures of what I'm doing and adding final photos and also a caption and then copy and paste in that information and putting it straight into my social media. I absolutely love this freaking app. So this goes into your projects and um, for your projects, you can do planning. So you can do just an idea planning in progress for repair complete on whole abandoned um and you can change the status of it and you can share or delete it so that is one of the things they have here that i absolutely love and like i said it's already connected i can connect the pattern to the fabric to the notions and to the project and let it all be in one location um, that I, I think is amazing. So they also have it for patterns. So I went in and started making, you know, uploading some patterns that I've bought through, um, Simplicity and online. And of course I have a whole list of patterns that I need to put in and I'll do that one day at a time. Even my Soda Academy pattern, I put in, um, so I'll have it, you know, just the diner, so it pattern me. So it was there too, um, because I'm also going to be using a projector to be able to cut out my pattern, but that's a whole different video. So this is, it tells you the pattern, the draw lines, the charts, you can add that. I think I did on another one that I'll show you. Um, 
attachments. So this is the actual pattern attachment, the name of it, who the designer is, the description of it, um, what kind of item it is, what gender it is. You can do female, male, neutral, um, what age, um, design features. You can go in and add those, um, size range, cup size, notions required, um, fabric category, suggested fabrics, um, fabric required, pattern format. So I put projector here because I, I've already set this up to do a projector, but you can do paper, you can do um, PDF, paper, book, projector, um, tutorial, or other. Um, confident beginner, so the sewing level, the location of where it's at, the price it costs to pay for it when you got the pattern, the shop it came from, any adjustments that you need to make, you can record it there. Um, the same thing for any kind of notes that you want in the link. Um, and then also, like, where are you at in the pattern? So for this one, I've printed it out. It is traced out. I just need to cut it, and I'll be ready to go. It also allows me to rate the pattern. And like I said, it's linked to a project already um, that I'm planning. So that is for your patterns. And this is a commercial pattern. So just. So it's the photos. So it's just a different view. Um, photos, um, the line drawings, the charts for it. There's no attachments to it. I could. Um, cause I think I got this one as a PDF, um, the name of it, the designer. And like I said, it's some of the same things I talked about before, um, pattern range. Now, what I do like about this, and I have to go back and do like the notions and stuff like suggested fabrics and put that in, but I want to show you like one of the things that I think is amazing about this particular app. So let me go into it. So I'm going to go to mood and I love how they've set this up. So I'm going to go into mood fabric and let's say I want to go in and I want to shop some linen. Okay. And beautiful, beautiful fabric. So I'm going to eventually take this out because I don't have this fabric, nor am I going to buy any fabric anytime soon. And I'll tell you why in a minute. But so I come here, I see this. I'm like, yes, this fabric is everything. I look at the description. Um, I look at the color. It's the exact color I want. It is what I'm looking for. It is pretty fabric. Oh my gosh. All right. See, can't buy fabric right now. Focus, Jermise. Um, it has all the information. So I'm looking at the information and I'm like, yes, I am going to buy this fabric and I buy it. Okay. And let's say I'm going to buy three yards of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy it. Okay. I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to go back to my fabric stash. Okay. And they have something over here that says magic input and I am going to click it. Okay. When I click it, I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to paste the link there and I bought three yards of it and I'm going to submit. Now, most of the time this works. So let's fingers crossed every, every blue moon when I've had to archive, um, it, I've had archive fabric. It sometimes struggles, but for the most part, it works. So we just got to give it a few minutes. And usually this is when I go and I, you know, start looking at other fabric and and I really shouldn't look at other fabric because I just bought fabric. Ooh. Okay, let's see if we're done. Oh, we're done. So it takes the pictures from the website. So normally you get you get four pictures. 
So I want something that is up close. No, far away. I want it up close. Um, and I'm going to take these four pictures, right? Um, Mood always gives you suggestions on the notions that you can use for the particular piece of fabric. So I'm going to say done. And when it gets done uploading, it has a amazing result. Do, do, do. See? So it went in and all I had to do, if I had the website and I had the information, I put that link in and it gives me the name. I have my four pictures there. I have a full description of the garment. I have the length I bought, length that I have remaining. Of course, it still says up, cut, uncut up here. I can do wish list, pre-order, so pay for it, but haven't received. So you can also click that. Um, I'm actually going to input some stuff that I bought recently. I haven't received it yet. Um, the weight, the width, fabric type, composition category it doesn't have any stretch the price per yard the purchase date so you can set it up as of today or whenever you purchased it where you got it from thread match you can put that in there the colors so they'll pull straight from there the design sometimes you sometimes it pulls it sometimes it doesn't so um for this one it's a solid for some reason, they don't do solid. So here's your pattern design here. So go in and put, put your solid. Add it. I haven't pre-washed it yet. Um, where is it located? I haven't done that. I don't know where it's going to be located. It has the link. You can put your notes. And then if you already have in mind what project you're going to do, you can create a new project. It makes it so fast, so easy to keep track of all of your beautiful, beautiful fabric, okay? And it's one of the reasons why I love, love this app. Um, so that's there. And once you already do that, it you don't save it because it's already there. So I'm going to have to go in and delete this because, of course, I'm not buying this fabric right now. But... There it go. So it's already, when you go back, it is already saved right there. You just have to find it. Um, and then I'm just going to go in and delete this. Okay. And I know it's sad to be deleted, but, and there we go. And you can do the same thing for your patterns. All right. Um, you know me, I know, love my know me patterns. Um, and they're also there. Same thing you can do that. I just took the link and put it in there. I do what view I'm going to do. I don't know yet, but what kind of fabric I need for it. And same thing. And it's beautiful. You can do it for the notions. So. Now, if you don't have, so I haven't put any notions in yet, but let's say you don't have a link to it. There's a couple that I haven't had a link to and I just manually input it. So you can do bulk add, right? Um, you can take a picture, select, um, and it'll add in bulk. Or you can do just by add new. And I'll go through and you can manually put in all the information. Okay. Um, like I said, you have projects. So that's an example, but these are the two projects that I have. So this one is up next. And then once I finish this one, I'm going to um, complete this one. And then measurements. So it has my measurements. Challenges. So I don't have any ch save challenges yet, but... I can go to discover and they have some challenges in there that you can complete. Now I already planned to do, uh, where is it? So yes. So 
they have so many challenges that you can to use and like I say you can connect it to your projects or your patterns or your fabric but for me I am going to do the um whole 30 fabric challenge and that is where you have to sew 40 yards of your fabric from the stash that you have but it's there it has the different resources the pictures for bingo so i'm going to i've already downloaded this so i can use the bingo to be able to help me in my um endeavor to use 40 yards of my fabric and then it gives you the rules like things that you can do who's hosting it when is it closed and even for this um for this particular challenge it does not close this date um i'm going to be doing it and it's going to take me more than the next 16 days to finish this challenge but it gives you the link everything is there prizes no it's only for your personal gratification so i am doing this particular challenge so i am going to add it all right so i've added that so the saved it is now there so when I go back to my projects, this project is going to be a part of it. I'm going to go to the bottom and add challenge. And it's there, right? So that also helps me keep track of the challenges I'm doing. So I love that. It is a really good app. Um, they have shops. So... You can go um, fabric shopping, notion shopping, pattern shopping. Um, that's here. And they tell you it's an affiliate app. Um, this is, so all of these are out of the United Kingdom. Um, the person who I think created the app is out of the United Kingdom. Um, so just be mindful of that. We're looking to shop. Um, but you also have a shopping list. So this already started from when I need it for my notions. Um, vendors, I don't have any vendors saved just yet. Labels. So, labels that you can use on your fabric. And this one gets me in trouble. I love it, but I hate it. Stats. So, I can go to stats and I'm going to go to my nicer stats first, but I can go to stats and it tells you me how many patterns I have. Of course, I have more than 24 patterns, um, 25 patterns. It is just how many patterns I currently have linked to the app um, and how many I've made. And then it tells you what type. So if I go down, so I have 12 dresses, five jumpsuits, five five tops, three skirts, and three trousers. Um, where I'm getting my designs from, you know, who are my designers? And then what I've made um, or not using, and then when I'm getting patterns. So this is different because I am going to input my patterns. So um, some of them I previously bought and I just put that date because I can't find out where when I bought them and then total spent <laughs> total spent this month which I don't like that one too well um it even tells you god help us how much fabric you have which is the reason why I'm doing the fabric challenge <sighs> so I have a total and this is completely inaccurate because I have not put all of my fabric in here but so far the fabric that I have um, on this app is 123 that equals 430 yards of fabric. Okay. Um, I don't let my husband see my number because it's none of his business. But it tells you the colors that you have, um, the type, and what top 
you know, fabric designers that you use. I use a lot of Mood, a lot of Joann's, and then if I've actually used my fabric because it's a mean, mean thing. All right. And then the total of what you've spent this month. Now, like I said, this number, oh my gosh, is that really 5,000? It is not even half of it because um, some of my fabric is so old that I can't find any information on them. So they just sit there. So I have probably another 50 yards or more, probably more of fabric that I haven't recorded. So guys, it is a great app. Um, I'm not affiliated with them at all. They, no one's paid me to do this. I just really enjoy this app. And I think it is a game changer. If you are in the sewing business, if you use fabric, if you're a quilter and you have the fabric out there and you're trying to keep track of it, because we all know when we go to the store, we want to know what we already have. Um, Cause we definitely have bought, that's why I have to end up 12 yards of this fabric. Um, we've bought the same fabric. Actually, no, that's not the reason why I have 12 yards. I was supposed to be doing a collection with this fabric, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so it's a great way to just keep track of the fabric you have. And, you know, even fabric to use, people can ask you, you know, where did you get that fabric from? You have it in hand. And like I said, I didn't download this on my computer, but you can download the app version on your computer. I have the app version on my phone and it is just a great way to record your fabric. So there you guys go. Here is a new resource. I know this video is a lot longer than most of my videos, but this app is worth it. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.